Hello everybody, it's Chad from Explore, Collect, and Roar, and today I'm doing a simple tutorial on how to make a wet specimen. So if you didn't already know, a wet specimen is a way of preserving a small dead animal in a jar. So yeah, follow the tutorial to learn how to. Okay, so here are some important notes that you should know before doing this. Um, the first one is this method only works for small animals, nothing bigger than a bird. So the process for doing larger animals is way more complicated, so nothing bigger than like a normal sized bird. The next one is be careful while handling dead animals. So you should, probably should know anyone with common sense is handling dead animals can be dangerous and you can get many sicknesses and diseases, so make sure you handle them with gloves and stay sanitary. And finally, if your specimen has an odor, do it in a well-ventilated area because um, I didn't know if you knew this or not, but dead animals can stink. So do it where it's not going to stink up your house. Okay, so here's what you'll need. You'll need 70% or higher isopropyl alcohol. This will actually work to preserve the specimen, and I have 91%. The next thing you'll need is an airtight container. And I'm really stressing the part that is airtight because you don't want any of the fluid leaking out. The next thing that you'll need is the actual dead specimen. This is obviously the most important part because it is what you are preserving. Here I have a hermit crab, which is pre a previous pet, Rip Demetrius 2019. Make sure to be very careful with your specimen. The next thing that you'll need, which is very important in terms of safety, are disposable gloves. You will need these when handling the specimen because you don't want to get any germs. For this purpose, I have disposable latex gloves. One thing that I should mention is that you want to make sure that the jar is around the same size as the specimen because you don't want too much empty space in the jar or the specimen not to fit if the jar is too big or small. And now for the tutorial. So after making sure your gloves are on, get your airtight jar out. I'm going to get my isopropyl alcohol, which remember should be 70% or higher, and fill the jar halfway. Be careful because it's a pain to clean up if you spill it. So now we have the jar halfway filled up. I'm going to very gently get the specimen out of the bag and ready to be placed in the jar. If your specimen needs to be cleaned, now is the time to do it. If you want me to do a separate video on that, I will. The hermit crab is already cleaned, so I'll just skip that. Next, I'm going to very carefully place the crab into the jar, being careful not to drop it. Now you can use popsicle sticks or other disposable materials to set your specimen in the desired position. It will be much easier to adjust your specimen now rather than later. Once you're happy with the placement of your specimen, you can get the isopropyl alcohol and slowly fill up the rest of the jar. So, once you have it, this is your very last call for readjusting your specimen. You can place the lid on, making sure that it is tight. I had a bit of overflow, which is okay. I can clean that up with just a paper towel. So I'm just using the paper towel to wipe down any excess fluid that leaked out. After a while, the liquid may start to turn yellow, and you might have to replace it depending on what the animal is. Just follow the same process and make sure to handle the specimen with gloves. So I'm making sure that it's tight, and there we go. Here you can see how it turned out in the end. I'm happy with how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to make a wet specimen. Making wet specimens is a really easy method of preserving animals. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye! Hey guys, it's me. Make sure to click one of those two boxes to watch my other videos, or click the bubble to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.